Hey everyone, Tech here, welcome to Tech's Tavern, and grab a brew, pull up a seat, and welcome to a new series, obviously, as you can see here, for Diablo 3. And what this is going to be is this is going to be kind of a limited edition <laughs> LP series, because I'm obviously going to play a hardcore character, and as those of you that are familiar with how it works on Diablo 3, is that as a hardcore character, when you die, that's it. That's over. So, um, as you can see here, I'm naming the character Demitar. So any of you who are watchers of my Crusader Kings 2 series, you'll be familiar with that. That was the first king of my Croatian uh, Let's Play series. So we're going to kind of honor him as naming the character after Demitar here. And... We are going to play through this, and a couple notes right off the bat. Number one, right now, this is pretty early to the launch of Diablo, and actually playing a hardcore character is pretty dangerous right, right now. I actually have played one hardcore character, and it died because of a disconnect, because the servers are constantly having disconnect issues, and a couple downtimes, and network errors, and things like that, so it is kind of dangerous to do a Let's Play of a hardcore, um, because I could end up dying by no fault of my own. With that said, we're going to go ahead and attempt it anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and create this guy. Permanent death. The customer service will not revive a fallen hardcore hero for any reason. <laughs> Understood. Okay. So, and I'll show you here, actually, you can see I have a couple characters, and my main character that I'm playing on normal is a Barbarian, level 24. So, I'm kind of using him as the guide ahead, so that, you know, because you don't want to play a hardcore character through the game completely blind and not even know the boss fights or anything. So, I'm kind of playing him ahead of my hardcore character, so I can kind of at least have some way of familiarity with the bosses, at least. You know, obviously other things might be a curveball here and there, but that's how it goes. And... Another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and start it. Let's just go ahead and get going, and then I'll explain a few things once we get in. So let's just do that. I tire of the empty battles I once craved. I wander outcast while my tribe curses the gods who abandoned us our home is in ruins yet i stand firm six days ago the falling star struck the town of tristram the dead rose in its wake what evil is this could it be what I have sought these long years? A foe worthy of my blade? Alrighty, here we are. Um, so this place reeks of death. So a couple... Th the fallen star is near. Okay. A couple things I'm going to explain right off the bat. Number one is I'm going to go ahead and... In this beginning part, I'm going to save you guys several episodes and several hours of seeing material that you've seen over and over again. Um, and this is no way is like cheating or anything. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward um, here because, to be honest, in, if someone wants to call foul, go ahead. But any idiot can play through the game with a hardcore character and not get killed up to up to Skeleton King. And that was the part that was the open beta, so I'm not going to bore you guys with, you know, a couple hours of video of me playing stuff that star. everybody has seen a hundred times over. So what I'm going to do here, survivor, Leah. 
You should speak with we'll her. Do this real quick. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming. Kill these guys. Die. It sounds like a freaking Mack truck hit him, doesn't it? One thing I like about the Barbarian, all their attacks are really good. Like they got some weight I've to them. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates. You'll find Leah at the slaughtered calf inn. Okay. Burn those corpses. So as I was saying a minute ago, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video right here, um, because you guys don't need to see a couple hours of me getting up to level what, like eight or nine or ten or whatever it is to get to the Skeleton King. Uh, like I said, any idiot can play that far on normal difficulty and not get killed. The only, th the first challenge that most people have that you know would get them killed is fighting the Skeleton King, which really th isn't too terribly challenging, but it is kind of tough for low-level characters because you don't have a lot of abilities to use. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video right here, and it will train, I'm going to play all the way up until I'm getting ready for the Skeleton King encounter, and it'll cut right into that. And then from that point, I will film fairly continuous. I may still edit here and there, um, you know, lull periods where I'm, you know, clearing a, a zone or something. But it will be legit. And, you know, everybody who knows me, if I die, I'll be the first one to fess up to it. And I'll think of some safety catch mechanisms to keep it honest as well. Um, we'll figure something out. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, and I'm going to go play for a couple hours and get up to the Skeleton King. You guys only have to wait about 10 seconds, so see you on the other side. Say yes or no. You guys are ready? ready. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. Ready. I'm gonna go stand back on the other side of the room. You guys gonna take care of this for me? Yes. down like a wet noodle. Four blues and a yellow staff, it looks like. Sure. I got a yellow javelin. Need to be 
get that yellow pole. I might be interested in the pole arm. Let me get the... I guess you'd probably be interested in the staff. I'll throw it on the ground for you. The spear is weird. Dexterity and intelligence. Hey, I can use it. Yeah, that's good for you. Yeah, this pole arm is... Hey, no, I can use spear. Pole arm is decent. I don't know, the one I have might be a hair bit better, even though the DPS is a little bit lower, but... Yeah. Staff works out. Not bad. Well, each one of those uh, weapons were... Like, something for us, it's just like each one of us got the wrong one. <laughs> I actually got two blues. Oh man, I got two blue uh, one hands that are actually nicer than the yellow, almost. Oh yeah, big damage increase actually. Alright, so there you go. And I'm recording this kind of the next day, but that last segment there makes explain sort of what happened. On the intro of this video, um, I set my character up and then, you know, cut the video and dove off, you know, getting up to Skeleton King. And what happened was two of my friends who were on saw that I was doing a hardcore character and they wanted to go ahead and jump in and level with me, so we ended up staying up till 3 in the morning until we got to Skeleton King and killed him. So that's why it was kind of a cooperative kill that you got to see there with me and two of my friends. And this is now me back uh, moving forward. As you can see, Demitar here is level 10 now. Picked me up a couple of uh, a couple of new weapons here, and so we will kind of continue from this point afterwards. And like I said, I don't feel the need to show you guys every single little video. Um, you know, kind of a continuous thing. I'm trying to get a little bit of lag there too, you know. But um. Anyway, and I, like I said, I may have to play with some settings too because I'm running pretty much everything on high, everything on. But like I said, this is my hardcore character. We are at level 10 now. And the next video, I'll probably uh, continue to clear some of this out until I get into maybe some of the dungeon areas. And then we'll record a segment, um, either solo or maybe with one of my buddies again. So we'll, um, we'll pick it up on the next one. Th and again, on this series, you know, leave your opinions if you'd like to see more of it. If not, um, you know, I know the YouTube is flooded with a billion Diablo 3 videos right now. But like I said, I thought this would be kind of unique playing a hardcore character and then kind of relating it to our Crusader Kings to uh, King Demitar. So, like I said, I just figured it'd be kind of fun to do something interesting. And, you know, I have no aspirations of lasting very far with this guy. But hey, who knows? Let's see. Again, thanks for watching.